Why do you think that airway management is uh, important? For a period of time without oxygen, how many minutes our body can survive? Two minutes. Only four to six. Four to six, four to six minutes without oxygen, there will be brain death. Okay, also our heart can survive after four to six minutes without oxygen. Okay, so the airway has to be open so that the air can come in and out of our body. Okay, if the airway is blocked, the oxygen is not getting into our body. So our patient will become hypoxic, severe hypoxic, and then patient will become unconscious. Shortly, your patient will be having brain death or this uh, hypoxic brain injury, and then shortly your patient will die. That's why airway management is very important. Okay, uh, how do we assess airway? We uh, how do we assess airway and breathing? How do we assess airway? Yeah. Assess, assessing airway. We are using mnemonics. LLF. LLF. Okay, what is LLF? Listen, listen, listen. Look, look, listen, and feel. What are we looking for? Uh, breathing. Breathing. That is for breathing. We are no, we are checking for airway. We are looking for any obstruction. obstruction. What is the most common obstruction for unconscious patient? Yes, the tongue. Remember that, huh? It is the most common obstruction for unconscious patient. Okay? So what are we looking for? Any? Tongue. Any? Yes, tongue. Maybe it's folded. What else? Any secretion. Any blood. Any uh, loose teeth, vomitus, or maybe gum. Maybe your patient is chewing a gum. Okay? So that is for look. Listen for? What? Listen for the maybe your, maybe your patient is snoring. If your patient is snoring, what does it imply? I'm going to hypoxia. Maybe the tongue folds. That's why he is snoring. snoring. Okay? Or maybe your patient has gargling sound. Gargling sound means what? Secretion. There is a secretion. Secretions. What do we do? There is secretion. Suctioning. Excellent. Okay? Then feel. Feel for? Feel for any air coming from the mouth and the nose of your patient. Okay? Are we clear? This is how to assess airway. Look, listen, and feel. We are using these mnemonics. Look, listen, and feel. Okay? And how to assess breathing? These mnemonics. What mnemonics? Look, listen, and feel. Okay? Look for? What? Look for any tongue of breathing. Breathing. Yes, we are looking for bilateral equal chest rise and fall. Okay? And then, listen. Listen for what? Yes, listen for lung sound or breath sounds. You will start from, from the right upper, left upper, right lower, left lower. Why not like this? Should be like this. Why? For? They are symmetrical or yes? Yes, for comparison. Okay? So we'll check from up, right upper, left, right lower, left lower. And then we'll check for the heart sounds. Okay? That is for listening. Maybe your patient has absent lung sound. Or maybe diminish. Or maybe decrease lung sound. Crepitus. Crepitus or what? What is crepitus? Collapse. What is crepitus? Fracture. Any fracture? Any fracture? Okay. Any rib fracture? Okay. This is how we assess airway and breathing. We are using this mnemonics LLF. Look, listen, and feel. Okay. Are we clear? Yes. Okay. Uh, to open the airway.